Hello everyone and welcome to the Terrain Factory. This is the number 12 of a series of video tutorials where I show you how I make elements and terrain pieces for your tabletop slash RPG games. In this video I'm going to make a small wooden cabin with the floor and the roof detachable from the house to make it completely playable in your games. To make this we're going to need a few things. Some tin cardboard to make the base structure, a lot of wooden sticks, a little bit of foam to make some decorations. I'm using XPF foam because it's easier to work with, but any type of styrofoam will work just fine. And then some tin transparent piece of plastic to make the windows. Let's get to it. As usual, the first thing we're going to do is cut and glue the cardboard to make the base structure of the house. For reference, my house is going to be 15 by 10 by 8 cm. Now, since we are working with wood and it's going to be harder to cut later, we are going to make and glue doors and windows before covering the house with wood. So, after marking where they are going to be, cut the holes for them with something sharp. Next, using the pieces we just cut, make the windows from the plastic. And then cut some of the wooden sticks in thinner pieces to make some frames. Remember to glue them on both sides of windows and doors. A little tip for the windows. To make it less completely transparent, you can cover it with some PVA glue to get a more frosted effect. After they have dried, we can glue them to the house and go to the next step. which is going to be to cover everything with the wooden sticks. Try to stagger them a bit so it doesn't look too uniform. Another tip to make the sticks look more natural is to shave a little bit of the edges to make them a bit more round rather than completely straight. Once everything is covered, we can add some details to the house, like some shelves for the windows, a doorknob and some stonework in the outside corners to cover some of the edges. If you are using XPF like I am, to add some texture to the bricks, you can put them in a plastic bag with some rocks and then shake everything thoroughly. Then glue them to the corner of the house, again trying to stagger them to make it look more nice. To make the shelves, just glue a little stick at the bottom of the windows for support and then glue the shelf on top of it. Now 
To protect the foam from our paint, cover it with a mix of flour and water. You can add some paint to it to better see if the foam is covered or not with the mix. After that, we can make the floor and the roof. The floor is just a rectangle which we are going to cover with wood. While the roof is made from two triangles for side pieces, a couple of rectangles for the roof itself and a couple of thin strips of cardboard to add some support and to make it easier to rest it on top of the house. Before we can start painting, remember to mask the windows on both sides with some tape. Then, after priming everything black, we can start our paint job. I'm going to use two different shades of brown to paint the house, to make it look less monotone. A lighter brown for the house and the floor, a more reddish brown for the roof, and light grey for the stone. Keep in mind that since we used a dark base coat, everything will turn out darker. If you want lighter colors, I suggest you use a, a lighter base coat, like a light grey or a white. After that, cover everything with a black wash. You can easily make it yourself by mixing water, black paint and a couple of drops of dish soap. After that, the last step is to dry brush everything. I used a super light brown for the house and the floor, then mixed in a little bit of the paint I used for the roof to dry brush it, and then white paint for the stone. After that, the house is done and the build is complete.
I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thanks for coming to my channel, see you in the next one. And remember, keep playing with your maps.